this is a story of how time, patience, and frugal shopping can come together to make something really good. Turning a Walmart Schwinn into a bike that's capable of riding mountain bike trips. It all started 10 months ago with the Schwinn Aluminum Comp, a $200 bike. One that I rode in its factory form for a month before spending around $50 to make some improvements. And four months later, I decided to turn this into a Kev Central project bike with the goal of making this the most budget-friendly project bike yet. And today, I'm proud to present the results. Here is Project Comp. We're about to go over all the features, so get your notepads out as we explore what the Schwinn Aluminum Comp turned project bike has become. Starting with the stem. I decided to keep the bavel stem that I used in the $50 upgrade video. It's a bit heavy, but it's strong, and the short length puts the bars exactly where I want them, while being a fraction of the cost of some other stems. I also kept the wake handlebars from that upgrade video. 720mm, that's my new preferred width for the local trails, plus how can it be more meant to be than comp series bars being used on Project Comp. For grips, I'm trying out something new. These are IST branded lock-ons, and they aren't the silicone foam I've used a lot recently. These are cork foam. Plus, the gray goes well with the bike's frame. We'll see how they hold up. Shimano MT200 hydraulic disc brakes, proven and super affordable. You may have also spotted that there's no shifter on the left side anymore. Because Project Comp is one by, and looking at the shifter by the right grip, that gives the first hint at the drivetrain setup. Microshift printed bearings inside on the shifter, and as comical as that is, we'll find out if those bearings can actually do their job. When I first announced this would be a project bike, I'd already equipped it with the RockShox fork, a RockShox 30 silver TK, 100 millimeters of travel, and I chose coil over air, because air forks add cost, like the cost of a fork pump. Plus, these coil forks are solid performers. Now this was initially to have a WTB wheel set with Continental tires that I found for only $139. I'll put a link down in the description. I bought the set, but a friend needed it, so I sold it to them, and rather than wait for a new one to arrive, I equipped this with the Wyman U28 set from the Carbon X. And I wrapped them with new Racing Ralph tires I found for super cheap, but the WTB wheel set with those Continental tires is about the same performance for $50 less. The Ezra pedals still work, but they're no longer available. And I bought some Fukers for this build, but they shipped the wrong color, so I used some race face chesters that I had lying around, but $30 difference for about the same pedal. Link in the description for the Fukers. The IXF crank set and a 32 snail chain ring. I've used these with great success on multiple builds. The best budget one by setup, in my opinion, and it even comes with an external bearing bottom bracket under 50 bucks. One gear up front, so no longer 21 speeds, it's now 9 thanks to the Microshift Advent. Now this setup's been out for a while. I think it came out early last year, and I'm surprised at the lack of information or even reviews on it, because it was designed to be a budget-friendly way to get modern features and performance on a one by setup. $114 for the entire group. It has features like a clutch to reduce chain slap, albeit with a less streamlined looking switch, but it does work. Positive feedback and it locks firmly between selections. The Advent Cassette, not as heavy as I expected. Nine speeds, 11 to 42 tooth, one color, black. Since the bike no longer has its factory wheels, it's more of a proper mountain bike with a quick release for both the front and the rear. Seat posts are such a low bang per buck item that I usually don't include them in the project bikes, but the factory post was less than trail ready with its one bolt clamp, so I picked up this Promax SP1 at the local bike shop for 20 bucks, a steal. And it keeps this Akati gel saddle in place, even on rough terrain. I'm also using Project Comp to test out this Fidlock bottle cage. It uses a magnet retention system. I'll go into more details on this on my Kev Reviews channel, so be sure to subscribe there so you can get the full review. A quick rundown, a Microshift Advent 9 speed in the rear, a Snell 32 tooth chain ring in the middle, and a RockShox fork up front along with hydraulic brakes and all the other stuff. This is now a capable bike on the local trails and a comfortable one to ride. As some people complain, and sometimes rightfully so, and talk about big box bike geometry. But Project Comp for my 5'10 height and my 31 inch inseam, it's a good fit. There's no toe rubbing the tires on turns or no cramped ergonomics, and I had an idea how this would end up, but as sometimes is the case, the reward is better than I expected. The bike is nimble, controllable, and void of the old torny noises, the chain slaps, and the fork clunks of the factory configuration. Let me talk about the new 1x9 and the Microshift Advent, and I've recently grown accustomed to a 50-tooth cassette. 
This is a 42 tooth. Doable on hills, and I think the same gearing range as what's on my Project X build, but as I've previously mentioned, that's good, but I do start wishing I had one lower gear often. Still, this is a marked improvement over the factory gearing or even the Mega Range setup. Not having much information about the Advent, one question that I had was how it was going to work through the gears. Would it be slow? Clunky? Not at all. Shifts are smooth, quiet, and surprisingly fast gear transitions. I would say this is slightly better than this Ram NX and practically identical to the SLX setup on Project X. And that's telling, because having some time now on Project Comp, it feels a lot like my modified Hyper Carbon X. I think if I were to take these bars and put them on the Carbon X, it would feel like the same bike. Which to me is impressive, because the Carbon X has been my favorite build so far, at least up to this point. Project Comp, I think this is a tough package to beat. It's affordable, respectable performance, and even looks more local bike shop than modified big box. It's like a lot of these parts were made just for this bike, and even with the budget focus on the components, the performance is well rounded. Pleasantly, even the few question marks I had going in turned out well. Like these $18 grips, I was worried that they would get slippery with sweaty bare hands, but it turns out the wetter they are, the more tacky they get. That's tacky in a good way. My only real complaint is that I didn't use the factory Schwinn rotors. They have the Schwinn star integrated into the pattern, and I think it would make this bike look like everything was this way from the factory. The most impressive new feature, definitely the MicroShift Advent system. It shifts well, and it stayed in adjustment. And even with the comical bearings and side branding, performance is above the low price. And there's this. You can be the only one on the trail that can make Craftsman ratchet sounds with your derailleur. What about the derailleur clutch? It just seems like a bad combo. Budget derailleur and a clutch, but it turns out it works well. And even with it turned off, the derailleur still has enough tension to not slap the chain around too much. It's a really impressive setup, especially considering the price. From the top down, I think this is a respectable performer and worthy of being called Project Comp, and arguably more attractive for a project option than the Carbon X. No fears of budget carbon frames, though two years on, Carbon X frames still doing fine. But still, less worries with aluminum, and also the aluminum comp is only around $200, where the Carbon X is over $400. I could make a video comparing the two and see which stacks up to be the better build, so comment below if you'd like to see that, but as far as project comp goes, I think it was worth the wait. And remember, this bike has been rideable the entire time, from factory to project status. I paid for upgrades as I pedaled. Comment below and let me know what you think about project comp, and are you impressed? I know my patrons were, I let them have a sneak peek at the bike about a week ago. A link down in the description if you want to become a patron. $2 a month gets more content and a free sticker. But being a subscriber is free, so make sure you're subscribed and that you have that notification bell active so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.